Hello and welcome back to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Grocery Store Food Rationing. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. We're hearing some really disturbing rumors. Uh, they're unconfirmed rumors, but they are still very disturbing because of their plausibility. We're hearing that some big box stores and some grocery store chains are considering putting a plan into place that would allow them to ration food sales to their customers if the food supply chain gets worse or more destabilized. We haven't been able to confirm these rumors, but we're going to analyze this hypothetical possibility nonetheless. If some or all of the major food chains decide to limit or ration how much food their customers can purchase, then we think that would be very problematic for them and for any politicians in office when and if this were to happen. We believe that if some or all of them were to implement food rationing, then the public's backlash would be very considerable and would probably result in protests. We suspect that even if they're considering it, that it won't be done before the midterm elections, because if it was, then we predict that almost every politician would be voted out of office. There's another side to this massive potential problem. Once you start rationing food, then you can no longer pretend or claim that things are still okay, that they're normal. Once people see this, they will know that the situation is dangerously problematic and that America is becoming a third world nation. The problem is that food shortages will turn even God-fearing, law-abiding, ordinary citizens into panic-stricken individuals willing to do anything to feed their children. And once that happens, all bets are off. So what should people start doing? Well, we can tell you what a growing number of people are already doing. They're starting to purchase some extra canned food every week uh, when they go to the grocery store, just in case. People are asking us what we think will happen after the midterm elections. Well, there's no way to know for sure, but we can say this much. It's better to prepare ahead of time than it is to try and find a solution once the rationing starts. At that point, it will literally become every human being for themselves. We don't believe the government is making any preparations for this possibility, nor do we believe that the food industry is going to ramp up or increase their food production. If anything, we suspect that they'll just keep raising their prices, which seems to be their answer to everything. How high can food prices go? Well, between now and the midterm elections, we suspect that they'll keep increasing steadily. But after the midterms, we suspect they may start some incredibly high uh, food price increases and they'll be increasing the prices at a faster rate. We may even see a disturbing percentage of the population that can no longer afford to eat meat regularly and that will be met with even more protests. I'll tell you something uh, really interesting. Most of the efforts made over the last few years to introduce so-called synthetic meat into the marketplace have been disastrous failures. I don't know a single individual out there who has said they like the idea of eating fake meat or synthetic meat or whatever you want to call it this week, no matter how benign or pleasant or, uh, or weird sounding these new fake meat names are. At the end of the day, people just don't want to buy them. They don't want to eat them. They don't trust them. In fact, many people just laugh when you ask about uh, eating fake meat. So I don't think the future of fake meat is going to be very bright. As I said before, None of this has been confirmed, and we don't know if it ever will actually happen. But I can tell you this, a lot of people are very concerned, and they're preparing for the worst. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.